Cam Jansen, The Mystery of the UFOs, Chapter 4. Cam and Eric were a long way from the park. It was past five o'clock and already quite dark. Let's go, Eric said. It's late. My parents are going out. I have to babysit for Howie and the twins tonight. And besides, Eric went on, we have homework to do. We can come back tomorrow when it's light out. Don't worry, Cam told him. As soon as we've seen what's on the other side of that tree, we'll go home. Cam felt something moving in her coat pocket. The flap opened and the kitten looked out. Cam petted the back of the kitten's head. The kitten purred. The flap closed as she settled back into the warmth of Cam's pocket. I think you've got yourself a pet, Eric said. Let's give her a name. She likes to try and climb trees, Cam said as they walked along. We could call her twigs or leaves, Cam thought for a minute. Or we could give her an outer space name. After all, we found her and saw a UFO at the same time. Well, Eric said, we can call her Rocket or Stars or Saturn. Saturn, that's good, said Cam. We'll name her after one of the planets. Let's see. There's Mars and Pluto and Neptune. That's a good name for a cat. We'll call her Neptune. Cam and Eric were getting close to the park. Cam stopped and looked at the trees. There were many different evergreens. Evergreens are green all year and are easy to tell apart. But the other trees, the ones without leaves, all looked the same. Cam closed her eyes. She said, click. The tree the UFOs hit has white bark. It's a birch between two tall pines. Cam opened her eyes. That's the one, she said, pointing. Cam and Eric walked past the birch tree. The park was empty and dark. The only light came from street lamps outside. Cam and Eric looked for some hint of a UFO landing. There was nothing near the tree. Toward the center of the park, Eric found two ripped balloons. Here's something, Cam said. She held up the wrappings from several small pocket flashlights and a used roll of tape. But these aren't from outer space. Cam and Eric kept looking. The ground was covered with leaves. They found cigarette butts, crushed soda cans, and candy bar wrappers. Then Cam and Eric heard noises. It sounded like people talking, but they couldn't make out the words. A motor started and bright lights went on. The lights were behind the wall of the handball court. Let's see what's over there, Cam whispered. No, let's go back, we have homework. We can do it later, come on. Cam walked carefully through the leaves. She tried not to make any noise. Eric followed her. Look, Eric said. A strange looking creature with wrinkled silver skin ran out. It had a head, arms, and legs and was about the same height as Cam and Eric. Its hands were green and its feet were blue. It was holding something long and thin. Then a second creature came out, ran out. It was carrying a pile of colored objects. Both creatures dropped what they were holding and ran back behind the wall. All right, check out that picture. Look at those little creatures. And that's the end of the chapter. So, what do you think? Any theories? Think about the clues that they found. Of course, they saw lots of trash, but they also found some an empty roll of tape. They found some wrappers from, was it wrappers from flashlights? Yeah, what else do you remember? Right, two ripped balloons. And now something's going on behind that wall where the handball courts are. Interesting. Okay, well, we'll be back for chapter five. See ya.